Today our drawing topic is how to make a watercolor black and white realistic figure geisha drawing with India ink, pencil, and watercolor paper. I would like to introduce the materials and mediums to make this kind of drawing. This is my favorite India ink, but they are all pretty similar. This is what I picked up first, and I like that you only need to use a small amount of India ink each time you are working on the drawing. Then get some small sized flat brushes to paint with. You will also need these small mixing bowls where you can squeeze a bit of India ink into. You will also need water to dilute the ink. As you can see, you can put a small amount of ink into one mixing bowl and water into the other mixing bowl. You can use the second mixing bowl to dilute the ink to fill in lighter areas. This is the image we will be copying today. I found it on a Japanese news website. It is the image of a Japanese woman preparing a geisha for a show or event. Today, because it's a larger drawing, I will be drawing it on the ground. This is one major tip to do your drawings on the ground. I am using Arsh rough watercolor paper in the size of 22 inches by 30 inches. I like the rough textures because it can absorb the water. The first step is the same as always. First, make the contour line drawing or the outline solely. When I draw figures, I like to draw the face first. I like to draw the eyes first. Similar to still life drawing, I like to pay attention to negative spaces in the drawing too. If you need a guide, you can draw an oval for the face and an outline for the body, but I like to pay close attention to proportions as I draw freehand. I like to continue looking back and forth and pay attention to small details. After you draw the outline of the face, draw the body and the clothes. This is more footage of me doing my contour line drawing. As you can see, I put my reference image close to me to make my drawing as accurate as possible. Here I am speeding up my video to show the rest of my drawing process. Once again, I work on different parts of the drawing at the same time.
After you finish these outlines, it is time to use the ink to shade in the figure drawing. When choosing a brush, go for the small flat brushes. As for diluting the ink, I like to add lighter grays to the drawing first. For example, the slight shadow in their faces contains lighter shades of gray. The blackest part of the photograph is their hair. This is the deepest shade, perhaps mixed with only a bit of water. In general, however, I like to keep the paint strokes lighter, even if the color is dark, so that I can add more or alter it later. The trick is to only paint in light layers. This way, it will not be too dark and you can keep layering the paint strokes, leading to more variation in shades. Another insight is that if your paint stroke is too dark, Quickly take a napkin or paper towel and dab it into the clean water and then dab it onto the area that is too dark. This will take off some of the color. Another insight is, in order to have some clean water so that you can remove the darker strokes, keep a cup of clean water and napkins at your side. Another insight is, in your mixing bowl that contains the water, mix some ink into the water, and this way your water is able to produce a light shade of grey, and you don't have to mix it yourself. It will be the same shade of grey you can apply. This is my final product. It's not finished, but it's almost there. I've finished the contour lines and I am completing the process of using India ink to add shades to the drawing. The balance between the light pencil lines and the delicate washes of watercolor make a delicate final product. The outline that the pencil makes is just dark enough to be outlines and suggest form.